Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel and this is Poco XC custom ROM reviews evolution x7.6.1 Adobe Surya this is not a OSS version you can see kernel used here is lineage OS kernel 4.14.305 and build date is February 14 latest and both are latest only Linux enforcing is also un, uh, enforcing and I have been running the CPU throttling test from last 6 minutes and 16 seconds and 7 milliseconds you can see the graph it's a little bit throttling here too i have noticed this is a hundred thread test case and maximum is 190 and average is 153 and minimum is 105 million jps it's throttled to 77 percent of its max performance which is better to that version this version is a little bit better compared to that and this is the geek pen scores i got here 738 is the single score and 1728 is a multi score and as i said before linux 4.14.305 lineage os kernel has been used this is a 113 rom and this is the typical quick settings panel you get as you can see in the edit section you get plenty of options here sync option is also included here and settings you get these kind of options and this is the app drawer and home screen you get and uh, android benchmark results it's not in the memory 3,45,469 and temperature raise was 0 0.7 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percentage during this entire testing which is similar to that but i felt little bit smoother in that particular rom only but anyhow overall experience of this rom is also very good because we get safety net status get passed here as you can see in that rom OS is based it's not going to be happen the same and this is a very good rom i can say for many of the people and i have like 100 mps fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps that's not the problem even carrier aggregation support all these supports are available here and this is the dialer let me increase a little bit of volume here and this is the volume panel you get in this particular rom and you get a direct video call feature call recording is also available here but it announced the other person that you are recording the call safety net status everything has been shown here no gallery application you need to use uh, google photos or other applications and moving into settings this is a typical settings ui it's fine here no problem whatsoever as of now it's really really cool app settings you get all these options battery again you okay, guys can see one hour three minutes ago screen on time of 53 minutes it's quite interesting this rom is in terms of battery life and even the performance i give slight edge to that uh, oss based custom rom but this is also as good as previous versions as you can see when you get a direct sound enhancer similar options nothing different here everything is quite similar in this particular rom even the notifications settings is also very very similar and display settings again you get all these options you can see color skip to boost rate ambient display full skin apps app refresh rate per app refresh rate all these things you can do it out and display size and text i kept this one you can also do it the same accessibility menu and again fingerprint unlock and face unlock let me show you that also as you can see the fingerprint unlock is very quick and now the face unlock as you can see it's also even very faster using the face unlock also it's very very quick in my opinion this has everything regarding the particular rom but what is about the camera this is a disappointment here i thought this version at least have the nx camera pre-installed because many people know that before it was nx camera pre-installed with this rom but currently it's simply not going to happen that i don't know what's the problem that's the thing if you want to have that nx camera stay on the previous version itself don't run and jump the i mean jump and run they update this particular version of evolution x no need to do that if you want nx camera pre-installed with evolution x then pre uh, go and have the previous version itself don't jump and update this version that's my conclusion here and if i go into settings again into system into the gesture into gesture navigation into gesture navigation option you get both the options to increase the pill length and radius and even in the settings if i go here and show you the security i already shown you yeah more security options let's check that you get any app lock or not yes app lock is also pre-installed here no need to worry regarding that to location google maps all are working fine here no problem regarding that too and i want to show this uh, the evolver yeah the themes you get all the basic settings here nothing same all the both have similar settings here 
battery style and even icons those things you can customize out quick settings and even the gestures uh, power menu advanced restart button those things are still available buttons and lock screen animations animations you get a different style here in order to use the power button and uh, miscellaneous settings again you get these options you need to enable that then only you will get unlimited IFPS and the BGMA like games the PUBG mobile and unlimited photo storage you need to enable these options in order to access them those are present in the miscellaneous settings it's fine the ROM is smooth and you get safety net status passed compared to OSS uh, based ROM the evolution X same version 7.6.1 but that is based on OSS and this is based on AOSP whichever you want you can flash it out but my recommendation is stay in the old version of this AOSP where you get the maybe a Leica integrated camera that's far better than uh, any of the camera applications that's the one thing makes the difference here I think they will add in the upcoming build until that wait for that build and BGMA gameplay is also fine here nothing difference I have noticed the lineage is kernel and the uh, whatever the kernel was there in that particular ROM DexK kernel both are quite similar just we get better bat life in this lineage OS kernel that's it the performance is slightly better in that uh, DexK kernel that's the only differentiation what I can see in this particular ROMs and the quick settings panel here I don't face any problems while in the OSS pipe there was a problem and while installing the app also you get different interface interface there that's it and charging rapidly this is one more thing very interesting in this particular rom you get proper fast charging support the 33 watt charging support is properly given in this particular rom no need to worry regarding that too that's a good thing it's everything is fine if you want to use uh, gcam port then you can flash this particular rom but if you want that anx based mio camera stay on the previous version again let's see will they push any updates or not based on that you can just but as of now if you don't mind having a uh, MIUI NX camera then you can flash this or update this particular ROM I have used 13.0.1.0 global firmware with this you can watch my shorts video in order to flash the ROM same method instead of lineage ROM GIF file use this ROM GIF file that's it guys I hope you guys like the video if you like the video give it a like and still not subscribe to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button down below we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now